What's going on Capricorn? My name is Vince. This is 7D Tarot. Capricorn, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. And stay tuned until the end of your reading, where I'll use Oracle cards and pull your affirmation for today and a final message from the universe. All right, so let's dive right in, see what we got going on. Right now, you got validation and confirmation, major transformation about to take place. Universe is telling you, final piece of the puzzle is assuming the feeling of your wish fulfilled. Then your wish will be fulfilled. This is it. One last piece of the puzzle. They, your angels can't do this for you. They want you to assume the feeling of the wish fulfilled as if it's been fulfilled. That's it. You have to live in a timeline, for example, that your wish is fulfilled. I like to pretend I'm 10 years in the future. So 10, imagine right now if I really wanted to buy a Lamborghini. What I would do is I would quantum entangle. I do this every morning after I journal, right? Right before I start my day. I quantum entangle. I think of a timeline, a reality which does exist. Quantum physics has proven infinite realities. I think of a timeline where I have a Lamborghini. I've had it for the last 10 years. I've driven it. I'm kind of bored of it. It's a great car, but I kind of want something else now. So I'm kind of like, I've had it forever. I no longer want it, need it, wish I had it, I've already had it, and I'm like, oh, that's great. By doing so, I feel the wish has been fulfilled, now there's no resistance, and now the universe can actually deliver this to you. This trick works like the charm, the charm. it's called allowing, the art of allowing. And source is telling you imagination creates reality. This is, again, quantum physics has proven this. Law of attraction has been proven now to exist, right? So the days, <clears throat> excuse me, of you asking yourself, is this real or fake, are long gone. Now is the time the universe is telling you to become the cause and effect. You don't need to wait 10 years to get something. You need to pretend it's been 10 years. And then the universe says, I believe. Remember, this is so important. Live your life as if your prayers are already answered. Live your life as if your prayers are already answered. Thank the universe in advance, right? So I would always be like, thank you, universe. Imagine I want to meet my soulmate. I'd be like, thank you, universe, for you know having me meet my soulmate 10 years ago. They are blonde hair, blue eyes, brunette, this tall, this short. They make this much money. I met them here. I am so grateful. Detail, detail, detail. And nothing makes me happier. You always come through. You have never let me down. And every single time I want something, it happens. Thank you in advance. Guys, this is how I manifested my wife. 14 years ago, right? That's how a third party indirectly referred us together, a mutual friend. So this, this works and it works like a charm. And right now, source is telling you, feelings form the actions that accomplish your purpose. All you have to do is match your emotions to your expectations. So the most important thing you could do right now is to learn to love and learn to live and learn to be in a reality that's already taking place 10 years from now. You know, MIT scientists have proven that the future is the present, the present is the past. This is crazy. It's kind of hard to wrap your head around, but you got to understand that this is a choice. The choice is to go down the route that's practical, analytical, you know, a, a realistic. And where does that, what does that get you, right? All that serious, realistic energy, if it works, Where's all the manifestations? It doesn't work. It's a poor strategy. So source is telling you to let go of this energy and instead replace it with Nicholas Tesla said it best. If you want to know the secrets of the universe, life is a mystery, for example, Bobcat spirit, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibrations. Life is a mystery. Atomic particles, mystical, mystery, quantum, spiritual. It means don't worry about what you can see. Think of the stuff you can't see. How you think and how you feel is the most important part of this whole shebang. And right now, Source is telling you that it's time to take inspired action, match that up with your empathic energy. Now we have the recipe for success. So what does that mean? Your angels are telling you alignment first, action second. Now, what does that mean? Right now, what you think of with emotion is an actual fact. This is how the universe works. Placebo effect is definitive proof. They give someone a sugar pill, they tell them it cures diabetes. Next thing you know, they cure an incurable disease called diabetes. This happens all the time. So a third of the clinical studies are thrown away because of this billions of dollars of R&D. This is not fake. No one throws away billions of dollars a year unless they had to because this stuff is real. People change their metabolism with their thoughts. What does that mean? That means that you also or have the power to change your reality with your thoughts. You are co-creator with spirit. Universe is telling you, become aware of that. Become aware that what you are thinking and feeling really controls your world. And right now, your faith is your fortune. Your faith is your power. 
You see where I'm going with this? Your faith of believing in this. Imagine you have Bob and Bill. Bob believes in the law of attraction, sees the big picture, is a firm believer, and Bob's life is effortless. Now, Bill says this stuff is not real, it's a complete waste of time, everything he's doing is efforting and forcing, and he's not taking possession of reality, he's trying to shape it to his own energy, which never works. Now, which one of them do you think is going to be successful? Legit question. And that's what Spirit is telling you right now. Spirit is telling you to put down the almost put down the energy of trying to convince yourself, trying to be real, trying to not give yourself you know, attention to love the future. And instead, you're getting full permission from the universe to learn to love the future as if it's already happened. Celebrate the victory of the future. Right now, be generous with spirit. That means really use your imagination. Spirit respects the person who is very creative. Spirit respects the person who's, who has a very good imagination. Imagination trumps... Uh, um, high vibration and also meditation any day. When you have a strong imagination, you are able to give guidance to the universe and matching your emotions to your expectations, like matching feeling to the imagination. Now you are the most powerful being in all the dimensions, right? This right here will change your life. That's why your faith is your fortune. What you should value most in your life, right now the universe is telling you, is your own power, is your own belief. So at the end of the day, remember the universe is telling you it takes the same effort to think positive than negative. It takes the same effort for you to overthink or not think. It's, it's really a choice. And right now, the most important thing is being aware of this. Catching yourself is what the universe is telling you. Catch yourself when you are overthinking. Catch yourself when you are focusing on something going wrong rather than going right. Because I do see here, that being able to catch yourself is being able to reclaim your power and reclaiming your power is your new point of attraction. Your point of attraction will therefore then be more confident. So source is telling you right now, it requires attention. It requires you right now to practice this. If you feel like your mind is slipping right now, bring it back, right? And right now by controlling this energy, the universe is telling you that there will be new movements and new openings and situations and really moments in your life to bring some sort of financial abundance in. Because remember, the universe rewards those who reward themselves. But on top of that, the universe always gives you as much as you can handle. So if you're telling the universe, oh, I know how to play this, same, this, this game of life, this third dimensional energy of particle and matter, what you're also telling the universe is, I'm ready for more. And at that point, what the universe does is bring you new opportunities. Where you get a promotion, meet your soulmate, make some new friends, have some fun, do your little dance, sing a little song, right? That's how it goes down. And you know, the universe is waiting for you. You're never waiting for the universe. You manifest who you are, not what you want to so become the cause and effect. All right, Capricorn, I'm going to pull your affirmation for today. Write this down in the comment section. Quantum entangle with this. Let the universe know you've learned this lesson. You're ready to move on. Write down the following affirmation in the comment section. Everything isn't happening to me. It's happening for me, right? My glass is half full. This is a blessing, not a curse. Everything is happening. Everything isn't happening to me. It's happening for me. Write this down in the comment section. You're basically telling the universe you understand that everything is happening for a reason. What is the lesson in the situation? You will find it. Once you find it, you are aware that you have your answer and you're ready to move on. And you're telling the universe, do not keep me in this stagnant energy any longer. I understand that I am ready for new opportunities. I'm writing this down in the comment section and acknowledging this. Everything isn't happening for me. It is happening. Everything isn't happening to me. It's happening for me. Everything isn't happening to me. It's happening for you. It never happens to you. It always happens for you. And right now, let the universe know you are ready. Write that down in the comment section. All right, now, final message from the universe. And we all know the universe loves to make you laugh. What would love do? Look at that. The universe knows what's up. What would love do? And the message is, do you know why it's so easy for us to, in the unseen, to quickly pinpoint your whereabouts? You leave behind footprints of love. Oh, the universe. P.S. The legend of Bigfoot continues. Universe loves to make you laugh. Universe lets you know that you are a high frequency, energetic being filled with unconditional love. When you go to the fifth dimension, you're going to be showered with this. It's going to be unbelievable, plentiful. And right now, understand that love is the answer. Loving what you do, loving yourself, loving, you know, the moments, uh, small moments in life, the, the minor moments. And right now, Source is telling you to associate and quantum entangle with this energy by you finding happiness and love in simple things, in small things, by you finding happiness and love in the, in the basic things in life, then the more intricate things will all manifest as well because everything is quantum entangled. When you don't resist anything, you don't resist everything. Everything comes at one time. 
All right, Capricorn, hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.